Welcome to 519 Diecast. This is my weekend haul and I got some Auto World Johnny Lightning Hot Wheels Matchbox Jada some green light and we have this monkey mobile here. This is from the monkeys and uh, it's done by Johnny Lightning. I think they, this thing is awesome. Love it. And by the looks of it it's been based off a GTO. I think that's just cool. Done by Johnny Lightning. I'd like to find one in its package. I haven't been that lucky yet, but I found this loose one and uh, yeah, I had to have it. That's just cool. I absolutely love that. And then, sticking with the monkey theme here, we got this one here. This is a drag racing car and this is a GTO. Let's zoom my camera out a bit here. The GTO and it is the monkeys. And it says Mickey on the side there. And I guess that's Mickey up there. And the monkeys. Pretty cool car. In front of her. And that's the monkeys. So I wonder if they bring out a whole set of the uh, monkey dragsters. I don't know. If they did, I'll have to watch for them for sure. That is just cool. Love it. Thing is awesome. Okay, we'll carry on here. Then we got, this here is by Auto World. This is uh, Shirley Mordowney's truck, I guess. Down in pink. It's a pretty nice vehicle. And it's got some nice card art to it there. I don't know if my camera's going to go any farther out. Yeah, card art on it. So I've been collecting all this drag racing stuff and all the other ones there. I seem to have gotten their support vehicles. And, uh, <clears throat> well... This is sort of a support vehicle, I guess I can put it down as. It looks pretty good. And I was on the fence to buy this one because I wasn't sure. But then, I managed to pick up Shirley Modowney's rail car. So, uh, well, I better get the truck now because it is part of it. Let me get this out. And hopefully we can zoom in on this thing. There's the uh, motor. Let's try and get this thing to focus on this car. It's pretty cool. I think it's very small. Very light. It's a cool looking car. I think that's going to look good on the diorama. The back of her. Parachutes, the wing. thing is awesome. So yeah, that's the reason I bought the truck is because I got the uh, the rail car. I think that's just awesome. I'll put that aside there and carry on. Then I got this here, Jada Toys, and this says Road Rats. And it's a 1939 Chevy sedan delivery. It says Speed Shop in the, the panel there on the side. The thing is just unique. It's very cool. It's got like full fenders on the back so you can't see the wheel at all at the back the thing is very unique I think it's pretty cool this is older for sure been around for a while tell by the packaging yeah that is cool let's see the back here what's the date not seeing a date seeing a date seeing a date 2002 so it's been around for a while. Thing is cool though. I think that thing's awesome. Very awesome. Actually, I should get into this stuff here. We got an M2 hauler, and uh, I didn't have it. And it's Holly's carburetor, so yeah, I gotta get it right. It's older for sure. It's a 1970 Ford C600 and a 1965 Ford Mustang 2 Plus 2 289. That would be in the trailer. And it says that right on the sticker there. Limited edition car inside trailer. So there's the truck. So this casting's been around for a long time. They're still doing this casting. It's done in a pale green. Not a huge fan of the color. But uh, it's still a pretty cool unit. Nice trailer. There's the, uh, the back of her. 
Doors are closed so you can't see the Mustang inside there. But it's just cool. Very nice unit. I think it is anyways. Pretty nice. And I'll get these bigger ones I got out the way here. This is done by Jada. 1968 Chevy C10. And it's a Golf livery on it. And it got a piece of plastic in there protecting it, I guess. And uh, they did a lot of detail to this thing. Like, it's got the dog dish hubcaps in there. Like, they did a nice job there. And the shifter in there is painted chrome, or colored chrome, black interior. And the door handle and the windshield uh, winder is in there. It's been chromed. Steering wheel is blue, the same as the exterior of the truck, which is kind of different. But uh, it is a pretty cool casting of this. It's short box. Thing is pretty neat. The little topper on the back is kind of unique for sure. It might look a little better without the topper, but that's yeah, alright. I'm not taking out the package yet, so we're just going to leave it at like that. But it's still pretty cool. Lots of detail on that Jada stuff anymore. Do a nice job. Or green light, actually. It's not Jada. What was I thinking? It's green light. This one here is green light as also. And, uh, Summit 1939 Chevy panel truck again pretty cool I do like it like the detail in this one is not as much it's got just black interior nothing painted inside of it or anything it's just plain but the casting of the truck is pretty cool I do like this truck Summit Racing so that's one reason I got it for sure actually I can open up the front of this thing maybe yeah I can there's the front of the truck. Not too bad. Not bad. It's a cool looking truck, for sure. Like I say, I'll get these out eventually. Not right now, anyways. But anyways, we'll leave it at that. That's pretty cool. That's a green light. There's another green light. That's a 1972 Chevy Chevelle. That is pretty sweet. I like the Chevelles. This is red with a black interior. Looks all right. Now this is uh, it says a uh, hobby, hobby, hobby exclusive. So maybe I guess it's Doc Meyer Miner seventy one. I'd have to look this up. I don't have any information on it. I don't know what that's all about, but I will look it up and see what that's about still a pretty cool car I buy it just because it's Chevelle it's the only reason pretty sweet then we have this Johnny Lightning 2 pack and it's 1972 Chevy or Ford Mustang convertible and a 72 Chevy Chevelle heavy Chevy now the Mustang it's pretty cool we've seen that casting out quite a few times now <clears throat> still pretty cool. It's convertible. I'm not a big fan of the convertibles, but it is what it is. Still a nice looking car. Black interior, green exterior. Now the one in the bottom here, that's the one reason I got it was right there. It's blue with white interior. It's very nice. It's a heavy Chevy. And they, uh, by reading the side of it here, that information it's about uh, insurance reasons so they made them heavy Chevys they put a different hood on it with the hood pins because the SS was too high on insurance I'm taking it so that's why they made these heavy Chevys so that's pretty neat trying to get around the insurance companies pretty cool that's the back of her Nice car. Love it. Holy. Uh, okay, now we have a 1967 Mickey Chevy Camaro done in black with red interior. The thing is awesome. Now, if this was uh, an M2, I would say, oh, we got ourselves a goose chase. But this is not. This is Johnny Lightning. The thing is sweet. Black with red interior. The thing is awesome really pops with that red interior a sharp looking car does have a piece of paper in there I don't know 
there's nothing I can do about it. It's in there. I'm not gonna do anything about it until I open them. But uh, yeah, it's still it's still all right. Doesn't look bad. Of course, it comes with the uh, collector's tin there, so you can put it in there afterwards. Yeah, that's a pretty cool car. Love that paint scheme with the red interior. Just pops. Love it. And then we get into some more Johnny Lightning, and this is a 2013 Chevy Camaro ZL1, which I've got quite a few of these now. I'm uh, going to have to stop getting these because there's just too many of these Camaros. Lots of them. They're convertibles. There's the uh, front of her. But it is part of a set, and I like to finish my whole set, so that's the problem. There's a, that's the Camaro. It's not bad. It's been out quite a few times. And then we got a 79 International Scout. This thing is pretty cool. You don't see a lot of these. This is done in royal gold, it's called. To me, it's brown, but uh, according to the paint chip there, it's uh, royal gold gold very neat casting there's some information there if you want to pause it and read it but, uh, yeah it's all right quite a paint scheme on her for sure definitely different that's all right card art back there it's actually a photograph huh. it's all right and then we got a 1969 Ford Torino Talladega Again, very nice. This is Royal Maroon. And uh, it's not a bad color. I think a, a brighter color would be better for this car, but still looks pretty good. It's got black interior and it's got a black hood on it. But the car itself is pretty cool. White wall tires on it. Pretty nice. There's some facts about it. Classic facts. You want to pause it and read it. Yeah, that's it. Not a bad looking car. It's a nice casting of it. Looks good. And then we have the 1967 Chevy El Camino. And this is done in black with red interior. Again, very nice. It's got red line tires on it. It's kind of cool. There's a front of her. You don't see a lot of these anymore around. They're actually pretty cool back of her very nice nice casting of that truck very nice oh there's some facts if you want to pause it and read it that's pretty cool then I got this here Supercon 2022 this is a die cast Supercon this is a 1993 Chevy Mustang SVT Cobra this thing is pretty cool. This is a first for me to get one of these vehicles uh, from the Diecast Supercon. And, uh, I think that's pretty neat. I do have quite a few of these muscle machines. I don't know what's about them, but I just like them. I think they're pretty cool. I think they do a nice job with them. They're very different for sure. But it is pretty nice. I do like it. It says little b in the back license plate there. I believe that's what it says. I'm guessing that. Just looked like it. I don't know. Can't really read it. But it's still pretty cool. Love it. Not bad. Then I got something a little different here. This is drag racing setup, which is pretty cool. I've never seen one before. That's why I grabbed it. And it just says racing kit on the side. So we got the one race car there. And it's got parachutes on the back of it. Which is cool. And there's the parachutes that go with it. It's got the Christmas tree. Which is kind of cool. And then it has Joneses up here on this uh, drag racing car too as well. Which is kind of cool. Never seen this before. Uh, I would imagine maybe they had a series of these. I don't know. I'll be keeping my eye out for them now because I, this is the first time ever seeing them. This came out in 2010. It says on the back, so probably 2011. 
Yeah, so I'm going to have to keep my eye out for these and see if there is any different ones out there. I got this one I'm quite happy with. I think that's pretty neat. Pretty neat. Then I got some more race champions. These are the drag racing cars for me. For my diorama. So this is going to be another cool one for it. Not bad. Very unique. It just says uh, Pontiac Funny car on there Ericsson so it's toe straps and tie downs yeah that's a pretty cool car that's awesome getting the stuff ready for that diorama is pretty neat and then we got ethanol and uh, again pretty cool this is race champs I don't like ethanol at all for my vehicles but so I run high test in them just to stay away from this stuff. It's made by corn. Or made from corn, I guess. There's a plant not too far from me that does that stuff. And actually, this is Mark Thomas up there, and apparently he signed it. I don't know who he is. Don't really matter to me who he is. It's going to be opened up and put in my diorama. That's pretty cool. It's all right. Then I got this one here. This one's actually Bozo, which is pretty cool. Everybody knows Bozo the Clown. So this is his funny car, I guess. It's part Volkswagen, I believe. The looks of that back there. This is Johnny Lightning. It is older, for sure. But yeah, I couldn't believe it. Bozo the Clown. I couldn't turn that down. I had to grab that. Actually, there's quite a few of them up here, so I'll have to keep my eye out for them. See which ones I can find, but right now I got uh, Bozo the Clown. And uh, let's see if I can see a year on this thing. I guess it doesn't really matter. I can't see a year. Not right offhand, so whatever. Still pretty cool, Bozo the Clown. <laughs> That's wild. And I got another hauler. I've got quite a few of these. I didn't have this one. This is a Hot Wheels hauler. So it's I'm guessing it's their fuel truck. It's leading the way on the front there. This thing is pretty cool. I got quite a few of these now, which I think is awesome. Hot Wheels racing. So, of course, I had to have it. It's going to go with my Hot Wheels race team stuff. Yeah, so I got a few more to look for there, obviously. Yeah, that is cool. Awesome. And then I got, I'm going to do it, stick with the premiums here. This is the NHRA. This is Morris Wagon, which there's um, six of these cars. There's six of this set. And I've got four now. My first two were Snake and Mongoose, and now I have this one, which is pretty cool. The card's a little rough, but it don't matter. Just getting them is pretty cool. Seeing these older things. So that's that one, Morris Wagon. Then I got the Pass and Gasser. Another pretty cool thing there. So I got four out of the six for this series. So I gotta find the last two, which is a 73 Vega, or 74 Vega and a 73 Plymouth Duster. So yeah, I gotta keep my eye out for that. That's pretty sweet finding those two. And we got a couple more different ones here. This is a Nissan Skyline, which is uh Pretty popular for, for some reason, and uh, this is from a video game. I guess it's an Xbox game. But uh, I got quite a few of these cars now, so I figure I might as well just keep with it going with them. And that's it. And I'm blue with gold wheels or yellow wheels. It's not bad. It's all right. And then I got the uh, Volkswagen that goes with that set. This one, uh, this is number seven. The other one's number four, so, yeah. 
little different. It's pretty cool. A little Volkswagen. Say it's from a video game, I guess. So I don't know what video game it's all about, but by the looks of this car art, it looks like he's drag racing, but it's hard to say. Still pretty cool. It's a classic bug. That's all that one says. And I got a couple newer castings and I got a bunch of other stuff here. It got Jurassic World. This is a Mercedes-Benz Unimog U1300L. This is a mobile veterinary unit. These are just fairly new out. Say I just picked them up tonight. They had the uh, Porsche in there too, but I already had the Porsche. And uh, I don't need two of them. So I just picked up the uh, three that I was missing from this release. So that's one of them. And then there's the Deadpool scooter, which is done in yellow this time. I have one that's in red. So I think that's pretty cool. I do like these little scooters. And of course Deadpool. It's quite a different movie, but it's not bad. Because that's his buggy. And then we got Top Gun. Which I don't have a lot of airplanes. But I got Top Gun now. Which is still pretty cool. Nice little fighter jet there. It's an F-14 Tomcat, it says. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Actually, there's only one of these there. And actually, I might even find another one. I'll pick it up. Just so I can display it. So that's pretty cool. That is pretty neat. So that's those ones. Now we're going to get into some Hot Wheels and then Matchbox. And these are a little older, so I'm going to have to go through them pretty quick. We're going, time's going by pretty quick here. It's a 1971 Dodge Demon. All flamed out. Pretty awesome. Didn't have it. That's why I grabbed it. Thing is sweet. I like the paint job on that one. Very nice. Like it. And then we got the Brazilian Dodge Charger, which I think looks to me as a dart, but I don't know. It's pretty cool, all flamed out. Say so I didn't have this one. Pretty neat. Awesome. And I didn't have this one for sure. And I love these Chevy twos here. I didn't have a pink one, now I have a pink one. It's the first time seeing this color on one of these, and I think it's awesome. Love it. I've got lots of these Chevy 2s, but I didn't have a pink one. So that's pretty cool. I like that. And there's another Chevy, uh, Chevy 2 down in blue with the white striping and stuff. But this is actually a short card. I believe I have it in the regular card, but now I have it in short card. Pretty cool car. I like that car. I think they did an awesome job with it. And then I got a first edition tire fryer. That's what it says. And to me, it's part of the race team, but I, you know, it does say racing on the hood there. But uh, there's no number on it. Most. Hot Wheel race teams have a number. No number on this one. But it's still pretty cool. Didn't have it. That's why I grabbed her. Actually, I think that looks like the same one as the one in the drag racing. I think it is. They are the same. Just different wheels. Alrighty. Awesome. Then we got this here. SRT Viper and it's a GTSR and this is a Zamax but it's a race team because it's got Hot Wheels and it's got number one and it says it right there Hot Wheels race team but it looks like a Zamax it doesn't look like there's a lot of paint on that but that is pretty cool love it awesome Awesome, awesome. Love it. And I got this here, Fast and Furious. It's only because it's the uh, Daytona. That was pretty cool. This is from Fast and Furious 6. I've got quite a few of these castings from Hot Wheels. Still pretty cool. 
I didn't buy it because it's fast and furious. I bought it because of the car. Pretty cool. Pretty, I like it. Awesome. And this one here is a 1969 Dodge Charger. And it is done in a pearl white with the blue. And that is just gorgeous. I love the pearl white on these vehicles. And when they do it with that blue, just everything pops. This one here, the hood opens on it. As you can see, it is pretty sharp. I like that. I like that pearl white that they put on these cars. I don't know what it is about it, but I think they do a nice paint with that. Nice paint color. And then we got another one. This is a Dodge Charger 69. Muscle Mania, it says. This is done in a nice blue with a gray stripe on the back. It says Dodge. Very unique. This is a short card, which is kind of cool. You don't see many of them. Not around here anyways. So that's got gray interior. That's a nice car. Very nice. Nice job with that. A 1970 Plymouth AAR Cuda. I didn't have this one. Not in this paint scheme, but I do have this car quite a few times, but not in this paint scheme. And as you can see, they're still dusty from the, the market. Uh, that's uh, pretty cool. Not bad. Not bad paint job. And then I got the Moon Eyes. This is a Volkswagen. And I don't remember having it in this flat black. So that's why I grabbed this one. It's Moon Eyes. Pretty awesome. Everybody knows that car. It's come out as a super treasure hunt not too long ago, actually. And then we got this here. There's something broken in there. There's a piece of plastic in there. I don't know what it is. Might be from inside. But this car actually opens. It's a drag racing car. It's a Plymouth Barracuda. Now, I think it's part of, like, the Snake and Mongoose castings. But, uh... Yeah, that thing is cool. I've never seen this one. And it does open up. So it is set up as a drag racing car. Thing is awesome. But something is broken in there. It's a little piece of black. Something in there just floating around. So Oh, it says snake right on the uh, casting down here. Vintage. It says snake right on it. I'll be... I guess you pay more attention to this stuff. Well, isn't that something? There you go. That thing is awesome. Love it. I didn't realize it had snake on the casting. That's great. And then we got a 1999 first edition Porsche 911 GT3 Cup. It says, now this is done in purple with red interior. It's not the prettiest, that's for sure. Kind of a unique casting. Not bad, but uh, the paint and the interior does not go together very well at all. But still pretty cool all in all. Here's the first edition. So that's all right. Don't mind that. And then we have the Corvette CR C7R. And it's part of the race team. So that's why I grabbed that one. I'm not, I wasn't sure if I had it or not, so I grabbed it. There we go. Got that. And then we got... This is a Corvette Hot Wheels, and again, Hot Wheels Racing. Another one where I picked it up. This is 9 out of 10. So this is a racing circuit. So there's the rest of them. Where there's something I'm going to have to look for. I don't know if I will find any more of these, but... It will take a while if I do find them, but I think that is cool. It's just a matter of finding the rest of them now. It might take a little while. I don't know. It's got chrome interior. thing is very sharp. White wheels. It's a good looking car. It's 2017, so they shouldn't be too hard to find. They should be still out there. And then we got <clears throat> early times 2001 mid-winter rod run. And it's the price tag on And there she is. Pretty cool. 
It's got rubber tires on it by the looks of it. It's very unique. Nice little car. Very nice. And then we got Moon Eyes again. This is a Volkswagen, which I wasn't sure if I had it or not, so that's why I grabbed it. And then I got this Moon Eyes, which I'm pretty sure I have. It's kind of cool. And then we got this Nissan Skyline, done in a smoke charcoal gray, I guess it is. It's just pretty neat. Then we got this Chevy truck. 67 Chevy C10. Love the color. Purple with the striping on it and everything. Hooser tires. Thing is sharp. And it's short card. This thing is very, very nice. Good looking truck. She's all tubbed out in the back. Very nice. And then we got this prototype. H24. And it is a treasure hunt on top of being... Hot Wheels race team, which is pretty sweet. I do like that. Thing is awesome. Okay, we get into the matchbox because this video has gone way too long. I can't believe how many cars I got here. I'm gonna go pretty quick through these. These are the matchbox cycle trailers, and there's a variation. There's one with a regular style bike on it. And then it's got a chopper on that one. So these are two different bikes on this. So this would be the variation of this set. Which is pretty cool to find them. I do like that. I like to find the variations. Pretty neat. And then we got the uh, Buick Skylark convertible. Done in black with a white interior. Still pretty cool car. Nice casting. They just bring out a bunch of these matchbox so that's why I got them this is a 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning now it's a Lightning as in it's an electric vehicle it's not like the old Lightnings where they put superchargers on them and they're just quick little trucks this is actually an electric truck so they stole the name Lightning for it I guess which is too bad I wonder what they're gonna name their Lightnings now, since they stole it for these electric ones. Yeah, eh, not a fan of electric cars. Not going to be, I don't think. Then we got the Renault Kangaroo. And it is shell delivery on it. Not bad. It's different, I guess. New castings, I guess. I don't know. And then we have the Ford Interceptor Utility, which is pretty cool. Not bad at all. See, these just came out, so that's why I grabbed them. And then we got this here, Ford Custom 300, which is awesome. I thought that was a cool car they bring out there. That thing is cool. Do like that. Thing is awesome. And then we got this here, Toyota. MR2 in red and black interior. Not a bad little car. Not too bad. And then we got the uh, Ford Capri in gray or er, green. The old one was in gray. This one's done in a green with a gray interior. It's kind of a greeny blue. Still pretty cool. I like that casting. I think it's awesome. Nice. Then we got the Dodge sweep side pickup truck, which is very unique for sure. Not a big fan of that blue on there, but the casting is pretty cool. Pretty cool casting. Like that. And then we got this here M MGB GT Coupe, which is pretty cool. Not too bad. And then we got this here Plowmaster 6000, which I thought was pretty unique. This was a pretty cool find, this one. I'm not a big fan of the color on it, but for it to have the snow plate on it and the dump box, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. 
just needs a sander unit completed on the back with a little spinny wheels but they don't have it I don't think does it maybe that's that unit right there I don't know yeah she's a snow plow I guess this is National Park so pretty cool and then we have the Sky Blaster Air Force launch support this is Hazard Squad it's pretty cool neat little casting didn't have it that's why I grabbed it it's all right and I got a whole bunch of M2s which I'm gonna put in different videos but for now that's enough for this because we got way too long on this video so I guess I'm gonna leave it at that and if you like that go ahead and hit that like and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching see ya